What's up guys, Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. And I would like to take this time to address a very specific fan base out there. All right. This video is aimed directly at PC, Microsoft, and Sony fan bases, but not the entire fan base because let's be honest, not everyone feels this way. But some of you have been comparing the Switch and its performance since before its launch, since it was revealed back in October. On various social media websites, I have seen comments and videos where people, these specific fans I'm referring to, they go out of their way to downplay the Switch in its performance. Let's say there's a multiplayer game. Let's just take, for instance, NBA Playgrounds. I've seen people saying that, oh, well, the Switch version it lacks, you know, some of the spectators in the background, while the PS4 version doesn't, or another multiplat like for example snake pass well the ps4 version runs at you know 900p the switch version runs at 720p or 640p or whatever or they'll take another game and say the ps4 version is locked to 60 frames per second while the switch version you know has frame rate dips is unlocked who cares while you guys are trying to use whatever incremental advantages of your favorite piece of plastic to downplay another console let me tell you something and this is not me speaking as a nintendo fan they are my preference yes but i game on all consoles as i've stated many times when it comes to comparing the switch to the xbox one the ps4 or even pc no matter how small your incremental advantage is, even if you have a, a big advantage over it performance wise, there's one thing you cannot downplay. Once you leave the house, you can no longer play your game. Let me repeat that. No matter if your PS4 or Xbox One version runs at 1080p 60 and the Switch version runs at 720p 30, would it be docked or undocked? That's probably the biggest advantage, um, the biggest difference I've seen since the console launch when it comes to a multiplayer, okay? Let's say that's the case. Once you leave the house or go to a different room, go to the bathroom, you can no longer play your console. So if you had a, a nice, powerful gaming rig, it doesn't come with you to the bathroom. And you can say, well, I have a gaming laptop. OK, do you play your AAA titles while you're in class at school? Do you play on your gaming laptop while you're in a public bathroom? Do you pull that thing out and play while you're at a restaurant? waiting for your food do you pull out and play when you're sitting in a in a lobby area waiting to be seen would it be a doctor's office movie theater whatever no you don't do it then and if you did it's not instantaneous it's not it's big it's heavy it's bulky it's not convenient to do so and you have to pack along controllers to do it now you can play with the you know the keyboard and your you know your your touchpad but still and especially when it comes to the Xbox One and PS4 owners once you have to step away from that console guess what you can no longer play that game but with the Switch wherever you go it can go and it is fully functional and the exact same way it is when it's docked so if I start playing a game at home on my switch on my television and I have to go run an errand or accompany my wife somewhere or go to work, go to an appointment, 
go to the movies, out to eat. Guess what? It comes with me and I get the exact same experience that I do at home on my couch. Even when I get ready to go to bed, I can bring it with me. The full experience. So although you may have a performance advantage, you only get that advantage when you're sitting down in front of that console. Turn your back to your PlayStation 4. Can't do that, can you? I can. I can turn my back to my TV. I can grab my Switch, turn my back, and still play the game. I can walk out on my balcony and still play the game. I can go down to the pool side. Still play my game. I could go right now to a fast food restaurant in the drive through if I'm not driving. Because even if I'm waiting for my food to be made and play the game, I can go to a movie theater. And while I'm sitting through the previews, I can play my damn game. The full game that I will play at home. So let's actually compare a game that is actually on all platforms or will be. All right. Let, let's examine this. Hmm. I mentioned Snake Pass, but you guys don't respect indies, although that's actually a, a great title and, and a good game. It really is. Um, NBA Playground. Some of you are still bitching about that because you don't like when things are too hard. You don't like to learn. Hmm, what else? Well, we did get the announcement that Rocket League is coming to the Switch later this year. As well as, you know, 2K, FIFA. Let's use those games as, as examples. So when you sit down and pop FIFA into your console, guess what? You have to wait till it installs, which can be anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes all right you have to wait till it installs and updates and then you can play your game right but the moment you have to leave your console would it be to use the restroom go to a different room whatever the case may be you can't you can no longer play that game so if it's hooked to your if it's in your man cave in front of your couch you cannot play it unless you're sitting in front of your couch with the control in your hand so, yeah, you have the 1080p 60 frames per second version, and I may have the 720p 30 frames per second version. So, yeah, your game is better performance wise, but I can play mine anywhere I damn well please. Inside and outside my home, on vacation, you know what? It's easy. So, I will admit. You may have a performance advantage. And whether it be because the Switch can't handle it or because the developers didn't want to take time to optimize for the console. But at the end of the day, no matter how shitty the Switch's version may be, it has one advantage you cannot take away from it. You can play it anywhere. The full experience. You don't get half a game when you undock it. It's still a full game. Do you know that the Switch is almost literally the size of a closed 3ds xl if you take off the joy cons that is an entire console that's crazy that's crazy you cannot tell me that's not cool so would it be small indie titles or big triple a titles being able to play them anywhere, you cannot take that away. That is the gimmick, and that is one that is great. I'm sorry. So laying down in my bed, I can play the Switch. Taking a dump, I can play the Switch. Hell, even cooking, I can play the Switch. Going to the movies, I can play the Switch. Waiting for my food to be served, I can play the Switch. Now, I don't need some... BS remote play to do it that re re relies on Wi-Fi internet connections don't need all that it's instantaneous no installs required 
Yeah. But anyway, I need you guys under, to understand that. You always want to praise the performance of your machine, but you're still stuck in your house and you want to play it. I'm not. People that own a Switch are not. You can play on a damn bus. You can play while you walk down a street. I wouldn't advise it, but you can do it. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as I always say, keep it gaming.